We decide when and where we will go. Right here, this team, right now, every step. Splashes it through. Oh, what a big shot. Wear them down with our effort. Wear them down with the consistency of it. Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by Stellar One Bank and by UVA Health System and by GEICO and by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. On this edition of Cavalier Sports Weekly, and he dunks it in. Welcome to Cavalier Sports Weekly. I'm Julian Ergram from the men's tennis team. We have a lot of great highlights on today's show, but first, let's take a look at men's basketball game highlights from Miami. Larkin's looking for his first points. He works around a straight up, straight up high from Gamble. It's a pick and roll as he sends it right back to Gamble down low for the easy dunk. We struggle early defensively, and then we tighten the screws, and we're more sound. Certainly they miss some shots, but we got back to the only way that would give us a chance in this setting. Anderson is isolated. He beats down low to Nolte, who lays it in off the window over to Rand Scott. Puts it on the floor with a left-hand dribble, takes it baseline now, attacks on Gamble and banks it in. Gamble did not challenge like you would expect there, and Anderson scores his first points of the night. Larkin's got it now, handing it off to Kanchi. Kanchi top of the arc, puts up a tough fadeaway shot from the top of the arc, and he hits it with his foot just inside the three-point line. Joe Harris on the other end of the floor, attacks inside, lays it off the window as he slashes through the defense to pull Virginia back to within, to back to even, in 26 points apiece, two minutes and eight seconds into our second half. All even, nothing settled through the opening 22 minutes of this one from Coral Gables. Larkin slashing his way on the other side. He misses it off the window and good as he puts it off the window from about three feet out, just left of the lane. So quick, and our game plan was really, you know, like most, you, you got to try to not let him get into the lane. And, and as hard as we tried, he still got in there at times. But he has a good feel, and um, I just I love his change of pace. And he, he just has poise out there that you need in that lead position. Harris with the ball in the airway. He beats down low to Atkins. Atkins isolated on Gamble. Feeds back out to Harris. Harris with a hand in his face coming from McKinney Jones. Takes it hard to the rack and banks it in off the window. Joe went right past. McKinney Jones. Kaji passes out of the double team to Brown. Now they send a Larkin back to Brown. Spots up. Open look from Brown. They had to earn it for the most part. They started picking us apart a little bit with our post trap, but there's not a lot of answers because they can spread you out and they can get you inside. And that's what's hard about them is they're they're um, you know they're a multifaceted team and that makes it challenging. Larkin, what a move! A scoop shot going into the air between two defenders and showing why he is one of the best in all the land. Working around Johnson, he feeds out to the near corner. Three-pointer from Anderson touches all net. It's a one-point game, and Virginia's starting to knock down those shots. To Anderson, Anderson pulls up, 15-foot jumper on the baseline, no good. Harris with a big rebound. He puts the shot off the window and good. What a play by Joe Harris to pull his team back to within one. After the timeout, Evans into the front court, slings to Harris, three-pointer from the corner, and he drills it. It's all even, 57 seconds to go, and Joey Hoops strikes from the corner. Harris and Nolte, the pass to Harris. Harris steps inside the arc, attacks in traffic. He scoops the shot off the window. No good, he had a chance. First of two free throws, rattles through. This is the one that can tie it. Virginia trying to upset the second-ranked team of the nation as the free throw off 
the front iron, no good. He couldn't get the second one. It'll be Harris, Jesperson, Nolte, the, two, the, the three shooters. Inbound pass to Nolte. He fires a quick three. That one, Harris on the rim and drops. Oh, baby, Nolte ties the game up. And Ron said, no, nah, we're going to get you one, Evan. You're going to get it because they were the last couple. They were keying on him, and, and he certainly made a good call, and the guys executed it. And good for Evan to step in there. He, I said he used a lot of the rim on that one. <laughs> Well, here we go. Larkin with the basketball. He's in the front court. Ten seconds to play. Rivers with the right hand. He's being trailed by Nolte. Sends it down low to Johnson, who lays it up the window with 5.7 seconds to go. There's the turnover to Durant Scott on the inbound pass. And it's going to be free throws for Miami with 4.1 seconds to go. I don't know if he got in the air. Akil thought he was going to throw it back to Kaji. And he made that move. And then we left the rim unprotected. For playing such a sound majority of the game defensively, it does sting to give him one at the rim. If Bubba gets it, you'd have been able to get down there and make a play. And uh, heads up play on Scott's part, not a heads up play on our part. It's got a sting, but, but you also uh, got to learn from it and bounce back. A lot of basketball left, and we're looking forward to it. This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Welcome back to the show. Last week, the men's tennis team traveled to Seattle for the IT National Team Indoors. Here's a look at our championship. I'm most impressed with our doubles play today. I, I thought that we didn't play as well yesterday, although Ohio State um, took it to us. And today our doubles play was really sharp. We came out and made some adjustments and thought our execution was really good in doubles. I'm really pleased with Julian Jurgen. He's used to playing a lot of singles, and, and he really did a good job leading the team this week and just playing his doubles role and playing his best tennis for today. The doubles was incredible today. We came out today and we brought a little more energy. Everyone was really engaged, everyone was focused, and uh, we knew we were going to bring it for every single point in this match, and, and that's what we did in the doubles, and, and we ended up getting you know, that doubles point, which I think en ended up being huge for, for our confidence and just uh, in being able to win the match. I think the, the fact that we've had a rough time with the USC Trojans in the past uh, kind of kind of sparked us a little bit. And the main goal today was just to come out and, and make this guy suffer. And it worked, you know, just being focused on every single point and not letting up at all. And I didn't care about what the score was. I was just going to attack from every single point. I played well on top of that, and things were working for me. And, uh, you know, things went well for me today. I can't say enough about the way Alex Damashan played under pressure this last uh, few days. He just seems to embrace it. He, like I said before, he's an extremely tough kid, and he just keeps getting better and better.
coming over to the other side of the turn. I mean, I've been in a lot of his service games. I'm going to have chances. I just have to bring the intensity every single point, and that's what I did. And it was a lot of pressure, but it was great uh, having you know my team cheer me on. And uh, you know, I'm just glad I could get it done for them. share that with like a team and knowing all the work that everyone put in is you know it's a very special feeling and I'll, I'll never forget the feeling of winning that last point it was an unbelievable experience for me this is a special group of guys and I think we have a bright future ahead of us This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by UVA Health System. We're for fans everywhere, and we're for the Cavaliers. Welcome back to the show. Baseball opened the season with two victories at ECU. Here are the game stories. Going back on it is Cannon, and it's over his head and is going to get out of the ballpark. A grand slam for Kenny Towns. No homers a year ago. He's got one on opening day in 2013. Kenny Towns brings them all home. Thompson with his lead off of second as Coxwell jockeys with him. Pitch swung on and missed. Waddell drops in a beauty of a breaking ball to get the strikeout and escape further damage. Brandon Waddell's got a great poise, and that's why we gave him the ball in the, in the opener of this, se this season, is that um, you know he's got good stuff, but he's calm, he's poised, he makes the big pitches when he needs to, and you know they, they mounted a couple of rallies, but he didn't, let, he didn't budge. Josh Spores has got uh, great stuff. He's got a great arm, he's got a great breaking ball. That was a big couple innings there that he threw in the middle of the, that ball game because uh, you know when you're when you're on the road and you're just nursing a two or three run lead um, th that can be tough and he certainly buckled down in the middle of that game. Here it is there goes Coxwell line through the hole on the right side the hit and run to perfection this one gonna roll past the right fielder King in digging for two Coxwell coming around all the way from first he slides in safely on the RBI double from Jared King as the redshirt senior delivers to make it a 5-2 Cavalier lead. Here's the pitch. Swung on rope down the left field line. The left fielder Thompson was way off of it. That'll play to pair for the Hoos. Cogwell touches the dish. Right behind him is Jared King. A two RBI double for Brandon Downs. The Hoos have touched double digits. 10-3 Cavaliers. White comes set, now deals, pitches swung on, hit out to right center field. Going back on it is Dylan Brown. He's back at the wall. Are you kidding me? Kenny Towns has hit his second grand slam of the day. The young man did not have a college home run. Now he's got two grand slams in the same day. The first time he threw a breaking ball for a ball, so I just went out there expecting a fastball. So, and I got it. And then the second time, the guy wasn't finding the zone really for the breaking, for the breaking ball. So I sat on the fastball again. This was a, a, a tremendous win for us. East Carolina's got a really good ball club, um, you know. And our guys really, really battled. Obviously, Kenny Towns, you know, his two grand slams. I've, I've never seen it in baseball in a game that I've coached. And you know, but to see our young freshmen on the mound, all three of them, Waddell, Spores, and Rosenberger, go out there and pitch very well on the road in a tough environment was really impressive. Coming up after the break. Tucker off his back foot to Street. Let's fly! And he scores! Charlie Street's first goal in Virginia. This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. You are the foundation. Welcome back to the show. Men's Cross opened their season with a thrilling overtime win over Drexel. Here are the highlights.
Virginia on the quick turnover. That's Owen Van Arsdale, one four and white to Rob Emery. His junior season fires and scores the first goal of the season on the first shot, and it comes from the Cali Cannon. That's Nick O'Reilly bearing it top shelf, and Virginia has opened up a two to nothing lead. Unsettled here, and another save by Marino. His third so far of the day, third of his career. I was very pleased with my performance overall. You know, it's very, it's nerve wracking coming out here as a freshman and, uh, and getting that start. O'Reilly got topside and makes it 3 0. And Seglio with the scoop and lost it. This is dangerous for Virginia. Man open on top and still a loose ball. This is Chaos, Drexel finally finds the open man. And an enthusiastic fist pump from the goal scorer, Frank Fusco, the freshman with his first career goal. Here's Prosser. Oh, great feed, and McIntosh tucks it home. Drexel within one. Most people don't realize uh, that Drexel's a really good club, and this is a stiff test for us year in and year out. A save made by Marino as it was Dusek who loaded up. And another save by Marino. Now Matt White. McIntosh falls down. White drops the hammer with a rebound save. And Cockerton puts it in. Harbison down the right iron for the lead. And he buries it bottom left corner. And now we got a flag down. O'Reilly, oh great look for Matt White. He drops the hammer from five yards away. Oh, what a check by Matt White. The rusty gate. Will you ever see a more spectacular check from an attackman? Now Bobby Hill ties the game. And a high hit, Bobby Hill down. Here's Nick O'Reilly to Van Arsdale. How are you dumped for Owen Van Arsdale? Virginia leads. Now here's Belka. Fender's caught on the other side of the crease. And a low shot and threading the needle is Trezano again. And Mick Parks has won the faceoff. Cavaliers with numbers. Parks, the sophomore, into a world of hurt. What a great shot and a goal. Ran right through the gauntlet, and Virginia leads. Here's Harbison feeding White on the crease, and he dunks it in. What a look by Harbison, and Matt White finishes for his third goal. Virginia leads by two. McIntosh against Hill. Ball deflected. It's loose. It's loose on top, and a tying goal. A tying goal for Drexel from Ryan Belka. You, you tell defenders, I mean, there's no, there's no way that they should be able to pick up the ball, you know, in front of the goal there. If anything, you fall on the ball if you have to and uh, make them restart from outside the box. You know, a little bit of a mental error there. I thought it was indicative of what we lacked on defense today. Thomas pushes it forward. Drexel has a chance to win with seven seconds. Marino with the kick save. And we are headed to overtime. Parks versus Thomas. Fight for it. Picked up. Virginia's got a numbers here. O'Reilly, left pipe. White, ball game! Cavaliers survive! That was a real big boy play by Rob Emery. That was a great ground ball off the faceoff wing, and uh, give him a lot of credit for that. And we're certainly, like I said, we're certainly glad to, to get the W here. Thanks for watching Cavaliers Sports Weekly. We have some great home games this week, so come out and support the Cavaliers. Women's basketball will host Wake Forest Monday night at JPJ. Men's Lacrosse hosts Mount St. Mary's Tuesday night at Klockner. Men's basketball hosts Duke Thursday night at 9 p.m. at JPJ. And Women's Lacrosse opens their home schedule with Maryland on Friday night at Klockner.
We'll be back next week with more highlights and great stories from Virginia Athletics. I'm Julian Uriguen. Until next time, vamos who's. Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by Stellar One Bank. In banking, there's good, better, and stellar. Visit Stellar One Bank today to see the difference. And by UVA Health System. We're for fans everywhere, and we're for the Cavaliers. And by GEICO. 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance. And by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. You are the foundation.